Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I want to walk you through somewhat of a hidden feature in Power BI. Now, when you connect to a Power BI dataset in the service, you actually have an option to be able to configure the fields that you want to use either through the UI when you initially connect to it or using something called perspectives that can be added in Tabular Editor. Now this allows you to curate the fields in the data list to only have things related to the report that you want to build and it makes navigating those fields and the data a little bit easier as you're doing report building. So we're going to explore both of these options in Power BI Desktop. So let's go ahead and get started. So in a scenario where you are using the Power BI Datasets option, as an example here, I'm going to come up to this data set called Perspectives and I'm going to select Connect. Now initially, I will get all of the data and fields from this model over here on the right, including multiple companies, a old and a reorg mapping, and lots of different metrics and folders within there. Now, depending on the audience this is being delivered to, some of these tables or fields may not be relevant to certain reports that are being built off this single master model. Now, there are two ways to address this. One, as the report builder, you can just immediately come down to select make changes to this model. And technically this is gonna create a composite model, but all we're doing is actually filtering out some of the fields. So we select add a local model. And initially we'll be given an option to actually check or uncheck any of the tables. Now you can only do this at the table level. I could turn on or off company reorg, which will get rid of that from my data fields list over on the right. But as you can see, I cannot come down and individually toggle these on or off. So I can do this at the table level. Now, in addition to me as the report author having the flexibility to do this, I also have an option if they've been added to the data set to come down to an icon in here called perspectives. If I select this, if a perspective has been added using tabular editor, you can see that there are different options for exec view, finance view, and marketing view. Now we can take a look at some of these. If we open up the exec view, and select that, you can see that that will select all of the items in here, including both the company and the reorg that is available for the executives of this organization. Now, if we open up the other one below here, we can see that the additional reorg that we have for company and product is not available in the finance view or in the marketing view. So we can see that three different perspectives are available in here. And what these have been configured to do is that all of the fields still exist in this data set, but they have configured per each perspective a different set of fields and measures, columns, et cetera, that have been shown or hidden to fit the audience for these. So if I was to select the finance view instead and click submit, watch the data over on the right, and the fields list has now been filtered down. Now the other fields are still there. They're just hidden by default. So we can access them by right clicking and selecting view hidden. So they will show up over on the list. This is also an indication that this is not a security implementation. This is simply an organizational method to help provide a filtered list of fields to initially use to build out a report for different audiences, but they are all still there in the model. Now you can, after you've already connected to this, if you wanted to come back up to transform data, go to data source settings. And if you wanted to change the source, you can at any point also go back and change the perspective to a different one. In this case, coming back in, we can change it from finance to marketing or executive. So you can update the perspective later on if you need to. And as we can see, selecting the executive view caused these fields to become unhidden again for that particular perspective. From a business viewpoint, the goal of this really is for larger, more complex models that have lots of different tables and fields that are designed to cater towards different audiences. When you have a couple of core data sets for the company, you can use perspectives or just that make changes to this model option to filter out some of those. So for a particular report that you're building or a set of reports for a certain audience, you can get a filtered list of fields where you're not actually removing the data, you're not applying any security, but you at least get the flexibility to get a nice filtered curated list of data fields mapped from the model that will be relevant to building the visuals and the report for very specific audiences within the organization. Now we're gonna also now see how we can hop into Tabular Editor and actually add a perspective. So what I have open in front of us is the actual local model. This is not a live connected model that we saw previously. This is the actual model itself with all of the initial fields and everything as a local imported model. Now, if I want to create the perspectives that you saw in the other reports that I was connecting to from that menu and UI, that can be accessed from here. So we will go to the external tools tab and we will open up either tabular editor two or tabular editor three. I'll open up tabular editor three. And we can see that there are already three of the perspectives created, the exec, the finance, and the marketing view. 
So to create these, you can right click on the model, select create, and then you have an option for new perspective. Once that's created, that will get added to this list. And then for that particular perspective, all of the fields are essentially turned off by default. So if I was to right click on model, let's create a new test one. So I'm gonna select new perspective here, call this test perspective. And now that this fourth perspective is in here, by default, everything in this model will be disabled for that. So if we wanted to show certain fields or tables, as an example for the calendar, I would like that to show up in my test perspective if I was to select this. So we can come down to the bottom and there is shown in perspective. Notice that shown in three out of four perspectives. So exec, finance and marketing, it's been turned on as true for those. Test perspective is already set up as false. Now, one thing that I would recommend as an upgrade to hurry up the process, if you're wanting to reuse some of the designs from these, rather than having to go to every single table one at a time and turn all this stuff on, you can instead duplicate one of these. So I'm gonna get rid of test perspective. Marketing view already has it turned on for most of the fields. So I can right click, select duplicate. This can now become my test perspective. And then from here, I can come and reconfigure that to anything else that I need to. We'll see that for, as an example again, for the calendar table, it's already turned on for my test perspective. If I wanted to, I can turn this to false, even inside of a table. So every single individual column has these properties as well too. So notice that I can choose to turn this on or off at the column level, at the hierarchy level, I can do it at the table level, and I also have the option to do it at the measure level for any of the measures as well. So each single field that is in my model can have that on or off, true or false, turn on for perspective. So basically the equivalent of showing or hiding those columns in the data model, but for each individual perspective. Additionally, besides the Tom Explorer over on the right, if you come up to view and go to the perspective editor, you can also easily configure any of the perspectives from this menu as well to be able to turn them on or off. You can see the icons are either checked where it's included or it has a square to include partial inclusion, which means that within here, the fields for those measures have been turned on or off specifically between the finance, the marketing views, and any of the other ones that we have contained between any of these other views that can be configured down from these lists. And once you save that with Tabular Editor, it's just a matter of making sure that you do the make changes to your data model that's found at the bottom. That's why I consider this somewhat of a hidden feature because you're technically making a composite model, which normally is when you're combining a Power BI data set with other imported data or other live connected data from other sources. But in our case, we're not actually rebuilding this model out any further. We're just connecting to a filtered list of fields using either the perspectives or using that list where you can just show or hide things at the table level if you didn't want to have to touch tabular editor or you just wanted to get rid of some tables that weren't relevant to you from a connected report. So hopefully this was something you found useful. As always, please feel free to drop any comments down below. And of course, if you like this video, check out some of our related content here in the upper left. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and share button. And otherwise, I will see you all in my next video.